Hi everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Now today I have an unboxing video for you guys. Uh, here is the box. This was actually a gift from my husband. And it's here and I have opened it already because I'm just so curious, you guys. I opened it, uh, but I haven't unboxed it and smelled it yet. I just wanted to peek in here uh, because I'm always that way when it comes to unopened um, boxes in my house or something, especially if it's perfume. I just can't wait. I'm that kind of person that wants to like open Christmas presents before Christmas. <laughs> Anyways, so the box is here. Um, we open it up here and there's this nice little card in there and it says thank you for ordering and all that nice uh, those nice things so that's a nice little touch and then here is the orange tissue paper and then it came with a whole bunch of freebies you guys I'll show you uh, some of the stuff that I got so it came with a little red uh, makeup pouch bag uh, it says Guerlain and this fragrance is a Guerlain perfume. It says, Kiss Kiss Me. I think that's um, a collection of lipsticks, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, it came with a whole bunch of goodies in here. I'll show you guys some stuff there. So yeah, this is just awesome. I just love freebies so much. So let's see here. We have Molten Brown Delicious Rhubarb and Rose Bath and Shower Gel. I really like uh, products from this um, this company. I do own quite a few of these molten brown shower gels. They're great for travel and they smell amazing. And I do love the scent of rhubarb. And then it came with a cute little mini here. This is Guerlain Musque Outre Blanc, or Outre Blanc, not sure how to say it. And this is part of their exclusive collection. And it looks like that so cute it's like a, a replica or not sorry a smaller version of their bigger bottles and then it has a nice little b in the back there and this how much is in here 10 mil eau de parfum so i have reviewed this one uh, when it first came out earlier in the year so i can uh, so you guys can check that out if you guys are interested and then it has a bunch of samples in here this one here, Aqua Allegoria Mandarin Basilic Forte. I do want to make a video on this scent because the original Mandarin Basilic is one of my most favorite scents that I own in my collection. So they came out with a Forte version. So uh, stay tuned for a video on that sometime. i um, talking about this new uh, flanker of it. Uh, Oud Nude, um, part of their newest uh, collection of Oud. Uh, fragrances and there's like cherry oud in here and I haven't smelled them yet so I will do that and probably make a video on that and then oud coal I think there was three oud for, uh, fragrances that were released so yeah uh, I love freebies as I said and uh, the company was super generous to include this in um, as freebies uh, as a gift from my husband so here and it is the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Mostly because of this little guy here. So they added a little pin that you can actually like wear on clothing or pin somewhere of the, uh, the honeybee from Guerlain. So I think that's so, so cute. And then the red ribbon around here also says Guerlain. And also the... Uh, the wrapping paper or the gold wrapping paper also says Guerlain. So obviously this is a, a Guerlain scent. Shalimar Millicim Tonka. Now Shalimar, the original one, that is one I don't get along with as, at all. I It's just not good on my skin at all. I do like some of the flankers. As you, as you can see, I have one here. This is the um, Souff Soufflé de Parfum, probably my most favorite uh, flanker of Shalimar. But I was curious about this because uh, it's, uh, it's Tonka. And Tonka is a note that I enjoy very, very much in perfumes. So last year they released one, um, Vanilla Planifolia. Um, I have a sample of that and I'll talk about that probably in another video. Um, 
in the future. But yeah, this was pretty much uh, a blind buy gift uh, from hubby. And uh, let's hope, <laughs> let's hope it's good here. So I'll just open it up. So as I said, these are limited edition. Um, as of today, I have seen it on the Guerlain website. Uh, still available in the Netherlands, at least, on the Dutch website. So that's kind of nice. And I also saw that they include a sample that you can try first before opening, just in case you don't like it. But yeah, I figured that if I don't like it, at least I'll have like a collector's thing or I can use it as a display back here. Okay, so it has the nice logo on top there. Really nice, simple box here. Nothing that complicated. And then the scent, ooh, is here. Wow, look at that bottle, you guys. It's just so, so beautiful. Let me see here. So this is a 50 mil, and this is also 50 mil. So you can see the ones, uh, how they look side by side. And this one here has like a black sticker in the front here, a little black bow. This one doesn't have a sticker or a bow at all. And then it says Guerlain Paris in the top. Um, yeah, very, very, very nice bottle. Uh, just to even look at and um, it feels nice in my hand as well. And let's see here. Let's see if this is any good. <laughs> Fingers crossed, you guys, that this is good. Okay. First impressions of Guerlain Milasim, Guerlain Shalimar Milasim Tonka. Ooh, it's super sweet. It is giving me already some vintagey vibes. I am smelling some of that DNA from the original Shalimar. It's been a while since I've smelled it, but I am reminded of that one already. But this is sweet. It doesn't have that harsh animalic type of scent that I get with the original. Sweet, powdery, almost caramelly, like a syrupy caramel. Tonka, dark, delicious, slightly powdery, mysterious scent. And already the vibe that I'm getting from this one is I would wear this when I want to feel more dressed up. I don't see myself wearing this with just a t-shirt and jeans or like sweatpants and a sweater a sweatshirt. <laughs> this smells fancy and elegant and beautiful. I can totally see myself wearing this. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> it is so, so nice. I don't even know what the notes are in here, you guys. But yeah, I'll go look that up here as um, it dries down a little bit. But so far, so far I like it. Wow, okay. The main accords are vanilla, sweet, almond, powdery, amber, nutty, iris, fruity, and aromatic. And then the notes in this one, in the top are bitter almond and bergamot. The middle notes are iris, jasmine, sambac, and rose. And then the main notes are tonka bean and vanilla. The base notes, sorry. <sighs> wow. Yeah, I like it. So I'm curious how it wears on skin. So maybe I'll do like a more detailed review later on. But so far, it's nice. <laughs> it's fancy and it smells expensive and bougie. And yeah. Yeah, I like it. So yeah, those were my first impressions on Shalimar. Um, Tonka Millicene. Um, If you guys have tried this, I'd love to hear what you think of it. But anyways, uh, yeah, that was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and I will see you guys soon in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.